In this unit, we will look at uh, control sources. Now, so far we have discussed elements like the voltage and current source and uh, basic elements like resistor, capacitor and inductor. Okay. These control sources are also elements which we will see in uh, many circuits. Okay. So, unlike a resistor, they do not correspond to some uh, uh, physical entity, but they are most often used as models for abstracting the behavior of more complicated circuits. Okay. So, they are very useful in uh, circuit analysis and circuit design. For instance, an amplifier uh, which is used quite commonly can be thought of as a control source. It is controlled by the speaker's voice or the output from the microphone and it controls the output that drives the speaker. Okay. If you recall, a resistor is an element which enforces a particular relationship between the voltage between two terminals and the current going through those terminals Okay, and that relationship is given by Ohm's law. That is a linear resistor. Now, when I said control sources, the control sources in general can be linear or non-linear, but here we will consider only linear control sources. Now, control sources also enforce a similar relationship but between uh, quantities present at different pairs of terminals. Okay. Now, depending on uh, which quantity is controlling and which quantity is controlled, we can have four different kinds of control sources. a voltage controlled voltage source, where a voltage between a certain pair of terminals controls voltage between another pair of terminals. And similarly, we can have a voltage controlled current source, where a voltage between a pair of terminals controls a current flowing between another pair of terminals and similarly we can have a current controlled voltage source where a current flowing in a certain branch usually assumed to be a short circuit controls the voltage between a pair of terminals and finally a current controlled current source, where a current flowing through a certain branch again usually assumed to be a short circuit controls the current between a certain pair of terminals. We will take these control sources one by one and uh, see how they behave. Okay. First, we will take uh, voltage controlled voltage source. Okay. This is denoted by this particular symbol. Now, independent uh, voltage and current sources are denoted by a circular symbol. To distinguish the control sources from them, a diamond symbol is used. Okay. So, what this means is that these are the controlling nodes and let us say the voltage between these two is V x. This is the controlling side and this is the controlled side and the voltage between these two is given by some k times v x. Okay. So, this k is a property of the voltage controlled voltage source. So, if I label these nodes n 1, n 2, n 3 and n 4, what this says is voltage difference between n 3 and n 4 
equals k times the voltage difference between n1 and n2 okay so that's the meaning of the symbol right now first of all uh, why is this linear so let's say vx1 is the controlling voltage this results in a control voltage which is k times vx1 and if vx2 is the controlling voltage it results in a control voltage k times vx2 now let's say the controlling voltage is alpha times vx1 plus beta times vx2 obviously this results in a controlled voltage which is k times alpha vx1 plus beta vx2 which obviously can be written as alpha times kvx1 which you see is the voltage in the first case plus beta times k vx2 which you see is the voltage in the second case okay linear combination of the cos gives you the same linear combination of the result so this is a linear element okay and this must be pretty obvious from the relationship itself because k times vx is a linear function of vx okay now as far as uh, this course is concerned it's about circuit analysis so some circuits will have these control sources and you have to analyze the circuits with them in place so you apply these element relationships the one uh, for the voltage control voltage source i've already given and you will be able to analyze the circuit okay now what does this uh, do for instance if we have a voltage control voltage source and between these if i have let's say 1 volt okay and let's say for this uh, voltage control voltage source k is 5 then between these two i'll have 5 volts similarly if i apply an input you can think of this side as the input and this as the output okay if i have let's say 20 millivolt sin omega t applied to this side on this side i'll get 5 times that which is 100 millivolt sin omega t okay so a voltage control voltage source is a sort of an amplifier in fact it will be used as a model for an amplifier okay now one point i want to emphasize about this control source as well as the others is that they are unilateral that is if you take a resistor it has this relationship v equals ir which can be interpreted both as applying a voltage v which results in a current v by r or applying a current i which results in a voltage i times r across the resistor okay so both ways are possible but for a controlled source that's not the case you can apply 1 volt on this side and get 5 volts on that side so in general you apply vx on this side and get k times vx on the other side okay this is the control source but the other way around you cannot apply a voltage to this side so let's say we why the control volt source still is assumed to follow the same relationship kx uh, vx and k times vx okay you cannot apply a voltage to the right side and get vx equals vy by k on this side okay 
So, this is simply meaningless. Now, this is a voltage source, you cannot apply another voltage source across it. Okay, We know that parallel connection of uh, voltage sources is not valid. Okay, So, in a control source, the control flows only in one direction from the controlling side to the control side. It is called a unilateral element. Okay, You cannot apply an input to the control side and expect some uh, corresponding output from the controlling side. Okay, So, this kind of thing is just not possible. 